Ramadan friends, and salamu alaikum. Welcome back to Ramadan Books in Nadia's Nook. Today, we're reading Peg and Cat's Ayid Al-Adha Adventure. Written by Jennifer Oxley and Billy Aronson. In this book, Peg and Cat use lots of math to solve all their problems. Are you guys learning any math yet? Well, come on, let's practice some counting. Ready? One, two, three, four. Great job! Now, are you guys ready to try it backwards? Come on. Four, three, two, one. Great job! Come on, join me in your jammies and grab your favorite cuddly friend because it's time for... Ramadan books, Ramadan books, Ramadan books in Nadia's Nook. Welcome back to my Nook, everyone. Are you guys all comfy in your jammies? Great, me too. Who is ready to read? Perfect, let's begin. Peg and Cat, the Ayid Alaha Adventure. Peg and Cat were visiting their friends, Yasmina and Amir, during a very special holiday. It was Ayid al-Adha, a holiday Yasmina and Amir celebrated every year. Peg and Cat had never even heard of Ayid al-Adha until Yasmina and Amir invited them to the celebration to check it out. We're going to make your first Ayid al-Adha the best ever, said Yasmina. Let's rock out, said Amir. They sang, Amir here and Yasmina the Machina, rocking the house just like rocking the arena. Got my new tie and jacket, sang Amir. Got my best head jab, sang Yasmina. Got my suit, Cat has his scarf on, sang Peg. I'm no sloth, sang Cat. Ayida Ladha is really fun, said Yasmina. There are presents and lots of food, but mostly said Amir. It's about giving to those with less. I like the presents and food, said Cat. But giving stuff away? How is that fun? You'll see, said Amir. Peg threw pictures of plates with food on them to remind Cat what Ayid al is really about. This sign means less than, she said. This one means more than. I like the more than sign better, said Cat. Amir played his stringed instrument, called an oud. Yasmina played her electric guitar. Peg and Cat played ukulele and drums, as their hosts sang about the holiday. Ayid Mubarak means happy holiday, so we say Ayid Mubarak as we celebrate on Ayid a lot of even Cat is going to see how awesome giving can be. We'll see if I see, said Cat. It was time to go to the celebration. Every year we bring this silver tray, Yasmina explained, filled with almonds, olives, apricots, and... <gasps> I love apricots, said Peg. Then let's add more, said Yasmina. Are those honey cakes? Cat asked. Should we add, Yasmina began. More, said Cat. More, more, more! One important tradition, said Amir, is dividing the meat into three equal parts. When you have three equal parts of something, each part is a third, said Peg. We keep one third, said Amir. We give one third to our neighbors, and we give one third to someone with less. Less what, said Cat. Food or clothes, the basic stuff that everyone needs, said Peg. Amir divided the meatballs into three parts. Um, the three bowls all have different amounts of meat, Amir, said Peg. When I put the same number of meatballs in each bowl, said Amir. The meatballs are different sizes, though, said Peg. If we don't divide the meat into three equal parts, 
This won't be the best Aido Aha ever. We've got a big problem. Peg noticed Cat playing with a pair of small swinging pans. <gasps> That's it, she said. The pan balance. Peg put one pair of bowls on the pan balance. This pan goes down because the bowl on it has more meat. It's heavier, she said. But we can take from more and give to less, said Amir, until... The pans are at the same level, said Yasmina. The meat in the bowls weighs the same. Peg replaced one bowl on the balance with the third bowl. These weigh the same too. They all weigh the same. Problem solved. I gave Mubarak, said Cat. The group headed out for the party, but first they had to drop off a third of the meat to someone with less. We've come to the soup kitchen because the people who eat here have less, said Yasmina. At the soup kitchen, they can get a good free meal. As the doors to the soup kitchen opened, Amir said, It's run by... Come on, said Peg. Cat took the bowl from Peg and handed it to Ramon. We hate to run and eat, but we've got a party to go to, he said. Wait, said Ramon. I need your help with a really big problem. There's a man who lives in that building across the yard. He always comes here for meals, but today he hasn't come. I wonder if he's sick or if those crates of canned food that were just delivered are blocking his way. Can he order takeout? asked Cat. No, said Peg. Today's about giving. We're going to give. We'll cross the yard with the meatballs. The crates were piled so high, Cat wondered how they would ever get past them. Let's count the crates to find the piles with less, said Yasmina. They'll be easier to step over. We can step across the piles with less, with no stress, said Amir. They stepped across a pile that only had one crate, and another pile of two crates. One is less than six, said Peg. And ten is more than two, said Cat. But there were even more crates to get past. Yasmina and Amir were totally freaking out! Cat held up his paws. Cat's right, said Peg. You should count backward to calm down. We'll count from seven, said Yasmina. We like seven. Seven days of the week, seven colors in the rainbow. Seven, seven six, six, five, five four, three, two, two one. one. As they counted, Cat gazed at those juicy meatballs. He was about to take a bite when Peg shouted, That's it, you meatball-loving cat. We'll divide the crates into thirds, just like we did with the meatballs. They'll be easier to move. Problem solved. When Peg knocked on the door, she heard a familiar voice invite them in. Mac? asked Peg. I've had some bad luck, Mac explained. I usually go to Ramon's soup kitchen for food, but last night I stubbed my toe, and this morning I stubbed another toe. I'm not going any place. You don't have to, said Yasmina. We brought you meatballs. Mac was so hungry that he ate the meatballs quickly. For dessert, Amir and Peg offered him olives and apricots. Cat wanted to keep the honey cakes for himself, but he remembered that Aida Lata is all about giving to those with less. So he took the tray over to Mac. Would you like a honey cake? Cat asked. I love honey cakes, said Mac. Cat gasped. Hey, giving does feel good. You're all so nice, said Mac. I don't know what to say. I do, said Peg. Ayid Mubarak! Ayid Mubarak! Wasn't that great?
great how Peg and Cat gave the meatballs to the man with less? I think so, too. How do you guys help people with less? Do you donate your old clothes and toys? Let's practice some greater than and less than. Which side has more meatballs? That's right! It's this side! That was fun! And inshallah, I can't wait to see you all tomorrow night when we read another book in my nook. Until then, good night and sweet dreams! Thank <laughs> you.